Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and time for another Gems of War video. And, um, this time around... Well, before I continue on, let me go ahead and intro this music here. Um, I might loop this because it's fairly short, but... I actually wanted to have a song called It Just Might Be a One-Shot Deal by Frank Zappa. But, uh, as you probably expect, that song is copyrighted. So, it's, it's what this, uh, the name of my next group... This uh, next group that I built, um, it's it's kind of the the title of that group is kind of a reference to that song, but again because it's copyrighted, I won't be able to play it on here. So, and presumably this stuff here is not copyrighted. It's called Night of the Sun. We are many. We are one. So, more dungeon synth. Can we turn that off? So, but let me check. Let me double check to make sure. But I can't see this being copyrighted. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything on here. Okay, so let me go ahead and get this going. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sound test this real quick. I'm just going to say close enough on that. So, um, but, uh, yesterday, yesterday, I could actually show you real quick. Let me bail out of this. Um, one thing this game has is, uh, if you, um, oh, level six. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to dig into this here after the video. Anyway, one of the things this game has with uh with their microtransaction system is let me go up here for example um I'll, I'll actually let's go over here to shop um is you could earn vip points by uh buying various small uh, microtransactions and when you do you can increase your vip level so like in my case You'll get um you'll get all these bonuses that are unlocked. Like I got it to when I got it to level five, I have access to VIP chests. Which um which is down here. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend any right now, but um these, uh, in the upper right corner, gems, uh, they're fairly rare, so you don't want to, you don't want to spend them willy-nilly, but as I had, I think, close to, I want to say, 1,500, 1,500, 2,000 gems, I figured, why not loosen up a bit, and, um, I think I, uh, by my math, 9,500, yeah, 9,500 opened uh, 20 chests, and um, and what are the things that came up? Wrong one. And oops, gotta scroll the way down here. But one of the things that came up was Iron Hawk, and um, which uh, I've looked around uh, other videos, other uh other web pages and I'm gonna have to turn that down a bit from my end. Okay, so anyway. But uh this uh this card here is very valuable for like uh doing like really low tier runs. Uh biggest reason is artillery support. It deals five damage to all enemies when an ally casts a spell. And that's a spell any like it doesn't have to actually deal damage or anything so but uh after experimenting around so this build here it's got two sister superiors and one she starts battles with full mana and 
What it actually does doesn't really matter. The big one is gain an extra turn. So what you're gonna what you're able to do is you cast this. And artillery support triggers, dealing five damage to all enemies. You know, you got two in the group, and um Dust Devil here is the same thing. Start battles with bull mana. And deals five damage to all enemies. So Casting this, when combined with this, you're dealing 10 damage to all enemies. So, and then um, and then for the banners, I have a Talon banner, um, two additional yellow, and then one additional green. And then class doesn't really matter, at least for the build I currently have. And there are variations of this, so you're not shoehorned into just this one build here. But after looking at all these other classes, I found Thief, if you did have a hero in the group to be most effective, one, he starts with 50% mana, and two, he deals seven, seven damage to the last enemy on four and five matches. Now, there was another one in here called Stormcaller. Almost the same thing, but not as good. Deal two damage to a random enemy, but you don't start with 50% mana, though. And I don't think there is anything about dealing damage to all enemies or anything like that in here. So, but again, if you have a, if you have your, if you have your hero in here, then the class to go with would be Thief, because again, deal an extra damage on four or five gem matches, and you start with 50% mana. And uh, there's, I don't think there is anything in here that would, uh, that would be helpful. So most of this isn't even going to matter because it's all about ending the battle on the first turn. So, but let me, um, let me do a demo. So this is difficulty one. One big drawback to this build is uh, the way it's set up right now. I, there can't be any monsters in here that have a armor and life total over 20. It's got to be 20 or less. Otherwise, this uh, team becomes less viable. But looking at what we got here, 9 plus 9 is 18. You got 15 total, 18 total. 12 total, so we're good to go. And let me turn my controller on here. Kind of timed out. Okay, so. Cast her. And then immediately Iron Hawk kicks in and deals five damage to everybody. Cast the, sis cast the other sister, and same thing. Iron Hawk did an additional five damage. And then, you cast Dust Devil. Deals 5 damage to everybody, which is 10 total. There you go. And now, and now in case the question comes up, um, whoa. Why would, you, why would you want to do this battle without a hero, or... Why would you even want to do these kind of battles, Joe? Um, the big answer? Uh, drop rates. Um, unlike other games, uh, most notably RPGs, where, where um, the rewards you get depend on the uh, difficulty of the content, in this game here, um, a, lot of the, a lot of the drop rates are universal. 
Like, uh, no matter which battle you do, whether it's difficulty 1 or difficulty 12, you're, you're, all, you're always going to get the same amount. Um, trophy, another example. I, I think it might scale. Like, if you do... Um, like, if you do PvP, I think you get two trophies. I think if you... Uh, maybe if you do, like, the higher difficulty content... You might get more than one trophy, but again, there's uh, not all not all drops scale with difficulty, so you're gonna get the same thing no matter what you do. So, and I'm, I I want to say XP is the same way. You're gonna get the same amount no matter what you do. So. But uh. Again, one big drawback with this build, though, is uh, I have no hero in this group. So what that means is you'll get no class XP. And plus, you don't... Because your hero is not in this group, you don't get any of the benefits. And you don't get benefits from any of the talents. Again, your hero has to be in this group. So this is the kind of group you run when all you care about is the drops. You're, you're, this is exclusively for map farming. Like, you're not trying to level any classes or anything. So. Okay, there's 15. 18 total. 18 total. 14 total, so. This should be doable. go. But this is how this is how it works. And again, um, totals have to be under twenty. See, same thing. And you're gonna get you're gonna get in this example you're gonna get this trade stone, no matter which difficulty you do. Like, you're not, if you do difficulty 12, you're not going to get eight of these or anything like that. You're only going to get one. This is another build that favors quantity over quality. you can 18 18 22 so 17 now what you can do is you can kind of tweak this a little bit so if you do want to put a hero in here um now what you want what you really want this is that this is also the kind of build where you don't you actually do not want any of these more powerful weapons up here. Because we're only doing difficulty one content. It's overkill. So the whole the whole goal of this is to end the battle on the very first turn. So you actually want to go all the way down here to the bottom. And then you want to pick one of these ones here, which which I prefer the wizards want. But basically what you pick, you want to you want to avoid mana blocking any of the people underneath you. So my preferred one is Wizard's Wand because it deals scatter damage. Whereas uh, some of these other ones, it deals damage only to the first enemy. Same thing here; it's only going to hit the monster at the top, but not all the ones underneath. Um. You know, and then there's Wicked, Wicked Scythe up here, but you're going to need 10 purple mana in order to get it. So, so we'll just say, we'll add that. Now, now Sister Superior, she doesn't deal any damage on her own. 
So, this casting is only going to deal 5 damage. Again, you need to deal... You need to deal at least 20 damage to all the monsters in order to end it on the first turn. So we won't be able to use her. So what this means is we'll have to... We'll have to bring in another Dust Devil. And then... And in doing it like this, it also means we can... We can level up this Thief class here. But, but uh, on the downside with these two, you deal 5 damage, so you're, or you're, excuse me, you're dealing 10 damage, but on the downside, you don't get an extra turn, which means, which means it'll be your opponent's turn, meaning you'll have to wait it out. So, let's try this. And it also means you'll probably have to look for a... So 24, 19, 18. So she's got 24, so what I have here won't be enough. So... And it also means I'll have to look for a purple match as well. Alright, here we go. So now... So, but, and at least with that there, <coughs> but as you can see there, you kind of have to wait out your opponent now. Another, another thing too is you could I could pick I could pick blue here because it only requires four or I could I could go with this one too it requires a little bit less mana but again there's a uh, the thing of it is is though if you can't if you can't one-shot the entire group, you might have two and sometimes three enemies left over. So, which is why you, which is why it's best to have the scatter damage in there. Because it's going to deal damage to everybody. Split up between all enemy troops. So, so which is why you want the wizard wand in there. And not a... And not one of these two. But uh, but if I was to if I was to level a class, so this is something else. This is something else too. I forgot to mention this earlier. But if I actually wanted to level a class, there's, I mean, there's a better group for that. The pea shooter, the pea shooter that I showed a long time ago. I, I actually showed this in one of my other videos. Cause if you're giving your opponent a turn, it's less worth your while. You may just as well play this kind of group. So, so like I said, that's why, um, that's why it's almost better to have, uh, have two, uh, yeah, two, si two sisters and a dust devil. Because again, the whole goal is you want to end it all on, on your turn. If you're giving your opponent a turn, then it this bill becomes less worth it. <coughs> and plus, it would also mean that I would have to. I would also have to kind of switch. I would have to spread the colors around a little bit as far as uh, as far as banners go. I'd have to have a purple one in there. Uh, 
purple and yellow or something like that. Let's try that again. So let's say purple and... Let's see if I have my hero on here, two dust devils. So we'll say purple and... Yeah, purple and yellow. And apparently... Apparently, purple and yellow don't exist. So how about... Whoop, how about purple and brown? Okay, uh, apparently purple and brown don't exist. So let me... Maybe the search engines fuck it up on me or something. You know, maybe something like this, but... Or, no, it be two purple, one brown. Which, yeah, I'm not seeing it so far. Yeah. Oh, there's one. So it had to be a silver banner, but you kind of get the idea, though. So, let me, um... Yeah, let me go ahead and do one more. First, let me check. Okay, 22, 18, 14, and 15. So, when this happens, you'll want to look for a, either a green or a yellow match. And I'm seeing neither, so fortunately I'm gonna have to bail out of that one. I'm gonna have to re-rack it. Come on. And it looks like we got lag. It's it's 9 p.m. where I live, so it's it's just like clockwork. It'll start lagging around this time of night. Yep, no green or yellow. But like I said, this is not, I mean, this is not a perfect build. Come on. This is starting to piss me off. The one time I really want to demonstrate this, the board ain't giving me what I'm needing. There we go. So what I would do is cast that, but then go here. And then finish up. But yeah, we're lagging right now, so I'll do one more and then call it good. But like I said, the, you want to run with this kind of build when the only thing you're wanting are mats. Like, you don't care about leveling any classes or anything like that. Which, again, like I said earlier, there's there's other there's other ways of leveling classes, so. And I don't think any of those are going to be above the above 20, so I should be good to go. Oh, so much for that. Then go up here. And that five match came at the right time too. But, but anyway, um, so that's my build. I just thought I'd go ahead and show how that worked. Um, but, but yeah, um, I'll just go ahead and call it good here, cause like I said, it's that time of the night for me where uh, everything's gonna start lagging. So it's almost like a curfew or something. But, but anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.